Austin Matthews, the 80s porn stash goal scoring machine, scored 60 goals last season. The first player to score 60 goals since Steven Stamkos did it in 2012. Today I'm going to simulate the rest of his career to see what recedes more, his hairline or his goal scoring ability. Oh, and we're going to find out if the Leafs will ever get out of the first round. Heading into year 7, Austin Matthews is a 94 overall. He will be on the line with William Nylander and Mitch Marner. At the end of year number 7, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 43, 30, and 9. Matthews finished with 52 goals, 55 assists for 107 points in 82 games. But the Toronto Maple Leafs were swept in round number 2 to the Ottawa Senators, and the Carolina Hurricanes would take home the Stanley Cup. Matthews would take home the Art Ross Trophy, the Hart Trophy, and the Ted Lindsay Award. Heading into year number 7, Matthews jumped 2 overalls to a 96. At the end of year number 8, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 42, 34, and 6. Matthews scored 50 goals, added 35 assists for 85 points in 76 games, and the Leafs would lose in the third round to the New Jersey Devils. Matthews had somewhat of a weak playoff run, only scoring 7 goals and 6 assists for 13 points in 16 games, and the Leafs would lose to the eventual Stanley Cup champion, New Jersey Devils. Heading into year 9, Matthews is a 96 overall. At the end of year number 9, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 48, 30, and 4. Matthews finished with 46 goals, 46 assists for 92 points in 82 games. But yet again, the Maple Leafs would lose in the third round, this time to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Matthews had 9 goals, 8 assists for 17 points in 17 games in the postseason. And yet again, the Leafs will lose to the eventual Stanley Cup champions, this time the Pittsburgh Penguins. Heading into year number 10, Matthews is a 96 overall, still on a line with Nylander and Marner. At the end of year number 10, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 50, 28, and 4. Matthews had a great season, scoring 56 goals, 51 assists for 107 points in 81 games. And the Leafs will be eliminated by the Montreal Canadiens in round number 2. Matthews had 9 goals, 4 assists for 13 points in 12 games in the postseason. And the Vancouver Canucks will win the Stanley Cup. Matthews will take home the Hart Trophy and the Ted Lindsay Award. Heading into year 11, Matthews is still a 96 overall. At the end of year 11, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 51, 19, and 12. Matthews absolutely went off this season, scoring 78 goals, 49 assists for 127 points in 82 games. Jesus Christ. Christ. But still somehow the Leafs managed to choke in the second round of the Tampa Bay Lightning. So you're telling me Matthews scored 78 goals in the regular season, but in 10 games in the playoffs could only put up 3 fucking goals? Yeah, Matthews sold big time. And of course, the Tampa Bay Lightning will go on to win the Stanley Cup. Seems like whoever beats the Toronto Maple Leafs in the playoffs goes on and wins the Cup. Matthews would take home the Art Ross Trophy, the Hart Trophy, the Maurice Richard Trophy, and the Ted Lindsay Award. Heading into year 12, Matthews is still a 96 overall. At the end of year number 12, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 45, 33, and 4. Matthews had a down year, only scoring 41 goals, 29 assists for 70 points in 82 games. And the Leafs will lose in the first round to the Detroit Red Wings. And the New York Rangers are your Stanley Cup champions. Heading into year 13, Matthews has dropped one overall to a 94. At the end of year number 13, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 42, 32, and 8. Matthews would have a down year, only scoring scoring 38 goals, 41 assists for 79 points in 80 games. And the Leafs will lose in game 7 of round number 1 this time to the Buffalo Sabres. And the Anaheim Ducks would win the Stanley Cup. Heading into year 14, Matthews is a 95 overall. At the end of year 14, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 42, 33, and 7. Matthews finished with 37 goals, 49 assists for 86 points in 78 games. Heading into year 15, Matthews is a 94 overall. Still on a line with William Nylander and Mitch Marner. At the end of year 15, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 45, 27, and 10. Matthews finished the year with 37 goals, 48 assists for 85 points in 71 games. Marner had a heck of a season scoring 104 points in 82 games. But the Leafs would lose in the first round again this time to the Red Wings. And the New York Islanders are your Stanley Cup champions. In the playoffs, Matthews had 3 goals, 4 assists for 7 points in 6 games. Heading into year 16, Matthews dropped to a 93 overall. At the end of year 16, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 49, 27, and 6. Matthews had a down year, only scoring 31 goals, 34 assists for 65 points in 79 games. Marner had a big 10 goals this season. And in typical Maple Leaf fashion, the Leafs will lose in the first round in Game 7 to the Carolina Hurricanes. Matthews' contract is currently up. Let's see if he re-signs with the Toronto Maple Leafs or takes his talent somewhere else. And the Winnipeg Jets are your Stanley Cup champions. Heading into year 17, Austin Matthews did decide to re-sign with the Toronto Maple Leafs. But unfortunately for him, he has regressed all the way down to an 87 overall at only age 34.
four. Seems like that hairline is really getting to him. At the end of year 17, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a record of 37, 38, and 7, which is good enough for sixth in their division, which means they did not make the playoffs. Matthews seems to be on the decline as he only scored 28 goals, 44 assists for 72 points in 80 games. This is Matthews' first time missing the playoffs in his career. And the Columbus Blue Jackets are your Stanley Cup champions. Heading into year 18, Austin Matthews has dropped yet again, this time to an 85 overall. My plan is for this year, if the Toronto Maple Leafs are not in a playoff spot at the trade deadline, I will trade Austin Matthews to the absolute best team in the league, see if we can get him a Stanley Cup. So we are at the trade deadline and the Maple Leafs are not in a playoff position. They currently have a record of 26, 33, and three, which is good enough for sixth in their division. The best team in the league currently is the Ottawa Senators, which means Austin Matthews is now a Ottawa Senator. At the end of year 18, the Ottawa Senators finished with a record of 53, 25, and four. Good enough for second in the league. Matthews seems to be washed now as he only scored 12 goals, 26 assists for 38 points in 37 games. He was point a game, but those goal totals are rough. But unfortunately, Ottawa would lose in the second round to the Boston Bruins. And the Minnesota Wild are your Stanley Cup champions. Every simulation I do, the Wild seem to do so goddamn good. Heading into year 19, Matthews is now a 78 overall. At the end of year 19, the Ottawa Senators finished with a record of 43, 32, and 6. Good enough for third in their division. Sometime throughout the season, Matthews got sent down to the minors. In 18 games in the AHL, he scored 6 goals and 7 assists for 13 points. Well, that dream of the Stanley Cup, that's fucking out the window now. And the Columbus Blue Jackets are your Stanley Cup champions. And after two more seasons in the AHL, AHL, Matthews has decided to call it quits. After 22 seasons, Matthews has 859 goals, 795 assists for 1,654 points in 1,546 games. Matthews' playoff stats are the following, 153 games played, 77 goals, 62 assists for 139 points and ultimately he had no Stanley Cup. Over 22 years, Matthews collected two Art Ross trophies, four Hart trophies, four Ted Lindsay awards, two Rockets, zero Stanley Cups, and zero Conn Smythe. Ultimately not a bad regular season player, but when it came to the playoffs, he never got it done. Let me know in the comments below who you would like to see next.